is Mr. Reese. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to focus on learning a few memory devices for some AP calculus integration formulas. And let's start over here. So one of the formulas that I found students have trouble with is the integral of tangent x. The, the answer, the formula is negative natural log absolute value of cosine of x plus c, of course. So the memory device is, so this is an integral symbol. If you integrate tanning into your life, so you went out in the sun, you laid out in the sun for hours and hours, that has some consequences. You might get skin cancer or you might get burnt. So basically, if you integrate tanning into your life, there are negative natural consequences. So negative, negative sign, natural log, and then absolute value of cosine, so I think cosine consequences. So negative natural consequences. So my students like this one, so I'm hoping that helps you memorize that formula. Here's another one, an example. The integral of secant squared equals tangent x plus c. So secant squared, oh, you seek two people to tango, the dancing tango. So seeking two to tango takes two to tango, that expression. So secant squared, the integral of that turns into tangent x. Now the next three, these are, you usually learn these as a, as a unit, and um, they can be tricky because there's so many similarities but little slight differences. So here's what I'm going to help you with. When you have the integral of these three, notice the first one does not have a square root. Notice the arc sine one does have a square root, and it's a squared minus u squared. And then arc secant has a u out front, but also now the u squared is first. U squared minus a squared. A, by the way, a is a constant, so a is a number, and u is going to be a function of x. U could equal x, you could equal x squared, you could equal 5x, but something with, in terms of x. So here's the few memory devices I have for these. First of all, I want you to notice that the three answers, this has 1 over a, this doesn't, I didn't forget it, it is not there on purpose, and then this has a 1 over a. So the one of these inverse trig integral formulas that doesn't have 1 over a is arc sine. So here's the memory device. Arc sine, si, is simpler than all the others. Si, simpler. So arc sine is simpler because it doesn't have the 1 over a. The formula looks less complicated. Now for the answer for our tangent, let's go back to the idea of tanning. Let's say, let's say you want to get tan. So the sun is out, the sun is shining, you want to be out in the sun getting tan. You don't want to be hiding under the shelter because then it'll block the rays of the sun. So when you want arc tan as an answer, you do not have the square root because you want to be out of the square root in the sun. That's why there's no square root there. So there's the memory devices for those. And let me do two examples to help you out with this. So the first thing you're noticing, well, you kind of recognize, you know, you're doing integrals. There's a 1 over something, 1 over something. No square root versus a square root. So immediately I see there's no square root. I'm thinking this has to be arc tan. And then you have to identify what is the u, what is the a. This is representing a squared. Well, if a squared is 9, then if you take the square root of that, a must be positive 3. And then this is representing u, but that's just x squared, so basically u is x. So the formula, again, if I slide this back, it's 1 over a arc tan u over a. So it's 1 over a, and we found out a was 3. So 1 over 3 arc tan u, which happens to be x, over 3 plus c. And that's it. Oftentimes, even on the AP exam, you're just like doing a multiple choice question. You're figuring out what the answer is. You find that multiple choice answer, and you select it. Now let's do this one. This one has a square root, so we know it's not arc tangent. So it's got to be either arc sine or arc secant. Arc secant had the extra variable out front, so it's not that. So it's got to be arc sine. So we're thinking, OK, it's arc sine. And then the number, the constant part, that's a squared. So if a squared is 16, a is, fill in the blank, a is 4. So we know a is 4. So this right here, that's just going to be our u. Remember, arc sine is simpler. It's simpler. It doesn't have 1 over a. So nothing there. Arc sine u over 
A and then plus C at the end. And hopefully that will help you with some of those complicated integral formulas, but now maybe they're a little bit easier. Thank you for joining me today.